where actually we know that the air quality varies from meter to meter, both in the X and Y as well as the Z dimension. All of which is to say that even something like air quality, which we can probably all agree is an important thing to measure, how it's measured, why it's measured, what transformation it leads to, uh, what decisions you can make, what equipment is used, which aspects of air quality, all of these are decided by someone. Um, and for me, the question is actually not so much the data as the decision making that goes into capturing one type of data and not another. So what I'm quite often looking for in terms of data representations of an environment is how can ordinary people make that decision themselves, measure the air quality, for example, where they want to, when they want to, and how they want to. Because in particular, in one project, what we found, which was really interesting, was when you empower people to make those decisions themselves, they actually get much better at understanding air quality to the extent that it turns out they don't even need digital sensors to measure that data and that their own senses, their own perception and observation about the context and just smelling the air and everything are almost as good and accurate as a digital sensor, which is a really interesting thing to find, you know, that you use digital technology to get people to go and explore. And then it turns out that that process of exploring really helps train them to not need the technology in the first place. So basically you have accomplished uh, the goal of bringing awareness to people, which is just to be in the present moment and use their senses instead of relying. That's right.